Hi guys, Ethan here from Hungry Geeks and today we're in Osaka and one of the most important things I've been doing recently is actually to buy a sneaker to represent the country where I've been to. So, I actually went around the whole Dotomburi area, Shins ano siya? Shinsai Bashi. And the Shinsai Bashi area and to search around the sneaker stores and also the flagship stores of Nike, Adidas, Puma and I was able to find this one. This is the Puma X Lubix collaboration sneakers. So, um, if you know my color profile, I like anything with colors. So, shout out colors, the Reebok Fury and so much more. I actually got the whole set. So, I'm wearing it right now. This is the t-shirt from the Rubik set as well. And of course, the jacket from Puma X Rubix. So, the most important or the most interesting of course is the sneakers right now. They, I, I actually have to compliment Puma right now because they have given importance in terms of unboxing. So, even the wrapping itself has labeling. And just guys, just look at that. It's, it's so colorful. So, what's interesting about this one is it's, it's very unique per shoe. It has a special touch. So as you can see, there's small details about being a Rubik, Rubik's Cube. You can see all of the colors of the Rubik's Cube on the laces itself. So it represents all of the colors of the Rubik's Cube and even at the end of the shoelace. So as you can see here, this is green and yellow. And if you can change into the white, it's blue and red. So it's an ideal color for me. It shouts out color. I'm actually about to test this out. Even the heel pads in underneath has a lot of colors as well. Yeah, we're going to Kyoto today to test out these sneakers and I'll tell you more of the initial impressions about this one later. Wow, the deer's here. Oh, yeah. So nice. Hello, deer. Hello, deer. Bambi, Bambi, bow down. Bow down. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like they're bugging you. No need, no need. Mm. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Just drop half of them on the sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> so the longer the horn, the more happy. <laughs> I'm here at the Nara Deer Park. We're just finished feeding a lot of deers right now, but it's so fun. And some of them actually feeds you. Uh, once you feed the deers, it's quite weird uh, because they can really smell you off. So one quick tip is if they have a horn, it's a male. If it doesn't have a horn, it's a female. So one of the tendencies is they keep on bugging you until you finish all of the crackers that you bought. So one, how much of it? One crack, one set of crackers is 200, yeah. 200 yen, so that's 100 pesos. 100 pesos for around six to seven pieces of crackers, not bad. And you can just keep on splicing them or splitting them off half, so you can feed more deers. Just one point though, if you feed one pack of deer, they're gonna bug you all the time. So they they, they can even bit your, can even bite your pants or your jacket. They're gonna keep on bugging you until they're full. Gion 
area. It's a street where it's very scenic and very good in terms of taking Instagram shots. So it's actually autumn time right now. So autumn, right? <laughs> no, no, fall. <laughs> So apparently even here in Japan you have a vending machine for ice cream. That's even for a Hagen Daz. Look guys, a Hagen Daz ice cream. And here you can buy the magical gold powder ice cream. So it's technically soft serve ice cream with golden powders or golden flakes. For 600 yen. 200 pesos? So Carlos enjoying his... Well, about to enjoy the Golden ice cream. So that's the trail going to the Golden Temple. We're on our way right now to the Golden Temple. It's around 15 minutes walk going and going back as per Kuya Pogi, our tour guide. It's actually weird because he said that it's already the second generation of the temple. The first generation was actually burned down by the monk who was very loyal to the temple itself. I think it was 400 yen to enter. So once you go farther, there's actually a view to take a photo of the Golden Temple up close. Yeah, it's a nice house. It's made of gold. Not sure if it's painted or really made of gold. I wonder if there's an Airbnb listing for this one. <laughs> it's such a nice house. So what's your impression if you have a ha golden house like that? <laughs> So guys, remember the ice cream earlier with the gold platings? Better that you take the ice cream after your tour, not before. So this is after for only 550 yen and it even has more flavors. So one of our last stops was actually Thousand Gates to Shimi Inari Taisha. Unfortunately, due to the traffic, apparently the Pope was in Japan at the same time we were in Kyoto. One good tip guys, if you're going to Kyoto, make the Fushimi Inari Taisha your first destination because it's really nice to go there without too much people and look at the nicest photos with the thousand gates and it's really nice admission is free So guys, we actually finished around four to five locations around Kyoto, going to Nara, Kyoto, and we were able to visit the Golden Temple, Thousand Gates, and feed some deers at Nara, and even visit some touristy spots from side to side. So we were able to clock in more than 10,000 steps, a whole day of touring, it's actually by Akuya Pogi, is our van and rental service of that day. Tip guys, if you're here in Osaka and Kyoto, you won't be able to go to the major places in just one day because they're really far from each other so you really need to prepare yourself in terms of one or two days of terms of traveling itself so I suggest you prepare ahead where to stop if you're really more into scene uh, sceneries and uh, taking Instagram photos I should say just keep it to four locations 
five maximum because if you go beyond that it's gonna cramp up your time in each location and you won't be able to enjoy each so we're back here in Osaka right now uh, now it's a very cold morning right now it's around 14 degrees and I'm not wearing any thermals or any jacket but it's such a nice breeze anyways um, moving forward how's the Puma X Rubix is actually an RSX03 shoe where it has its own collaboration. So, to give you an initial impression, guys, uh, three things I like about it. One is more of its cushioning comfort. One, it has a lot of comfort inside in terms of overall paddings from the front, from the heel, even from the backside is actually fully covered. So, it gives you the impression of being a clunky shoe, but it's actually not. It's For me, it's more well built more into normal uh, normal footed people not really wide foot people so it makes you a little bit more chunkier but yeah the color impressions is really nice so since it's a rubik's collaboration it actually gives you the overall colors of the rubik's cube the all six colors the blue we have the or yellow the orange the green uh, what else the red the, the green so all of those colors are really nice but of course, we want to talk more about comfort itself. So, uh, aside from the sweat materials and the uh, overall colors, that's actually shout out. It gives you the overall impression that you're wearing sneakers. That's actually uh, a lookout. So, comfort-wise, I was able to wear this a whole day of walking yesterday. It kind of feels a little bit more of an ultra boost. Third thing I like about it is actually it has its uh, interchangeable lace so you can change the lace from black to yellow uh, from black to white if you want to so it's actually really nice for Puma to add those kind of touches and aside from that the overall feel from the Puma X Rubix or the RSX actually is really nice of course, if there are really good parts, there are some discomforts. One, I have to give it on the planches or the nails of your feet. Sometimes, uh, even though this is the right size for me, 7.5, there are some tendencies that it will uh, force you in towards the heat, uh, planches. So it's a little bit discomfort at first, but eventually after clocking in around 4,000 steps, I was able to adapt as well. Second is on the heel side, inside the sole, there's actually uh, a chamfer or actually more of a padding where the Puma X Rubix collaboration sticker is. So it's actually additional comfort cushioning, but it's my first time to encounter that on a shoe. So it's actually annoying for me as compared to other shoes that just lay flat on the inner sole. So as compared to other shoes, you might get uncomfortable at first but I, I tend to I still purchase it because of its looks and overall package guys again a 7,000 peso shoe but I can compare it easily in terms of comfort in around a 10,000 peso shoe there are some dis uh, disadvantages but still it makes up to it so if you're wondering yeah the Puma X Rubik's is actually a really nice shoe it flaunts out color it's comfortable for an all-day trekking or all-day touring here in Osaka Japan so it's no problem in the Philippines just in case and it gives the overall style so additionally I bought the jacket as well so the Rubik's X um, and the Puma Rubik's jacket is actually made up of all the six colors of the Rubik's cube but do fair warning it's wool inside so yeah so you do have to remove all of the lint inside because the whole t even this t-shirt right now is full of lint because of the whole jacket is just simply a lot of uh, it's made of wool so aside from that this t-shirt really shouts out colors as well there are two more in the collections as well just a plain black t-shirt with the Rubik's logo and the design as well and the plain white t-shirt but I didn't buy them anymore because I'm looking more fun color out collection itself so if, again the Puma X Rubix is actually around 6,750 pesos or 13,500 yen 9,000 yen for the jacket that's 4,500 pesos and 4,500 yen or 2,250 pesos for this t-shirt so yeah that's actually nice for 13,500 pesos that's for a price of a high-end shoe from Adidas or Nike I was able to buy a whole set that represents me 
that's actually more of being unique aside from the a standout especially that we went to sneaker con you have to find a shoe that's actually representing you so yeah that's that's my take on it um i have to be more on the practical side right now so it's more of a shoe that can represent me that can actually give you more value and i should say the rsx or the puma x rubik's co collaboration is a great buy for me so thank you so much guys for tuning in checking out the puma x rubik's and checking out our tour here in osaka kyoto and of course nara it's actually a been it's actually been a great experience and yeah i wish next destination i will be able to buy another pair of shoe that actually represents the country who knows whatever country that is and you will be able to see it here on hungry geeks so guys thank you so much for watching and stay hungry geeks yeah.